Hi everyone, welcome to English 101. If you are watching this video, that means that you have already found this orientation button and you are on your way to completing the orientation for English 101. This video is just a quick overview of how this course works, where you can find all of the information, some important information for you. So we're going to start right here with the home page. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll find some important buttons here. How this course works takes you to the course syllabus, the course calendar, and other important course information. So you wanna go ahead and click on that and see what resources are available to you there. Click here for assignments. This button obviously is going to take you to where you'll find all of your assignments information. So that is where you need to go to find your reading, for the week, your assignments for the week, your discussion links, all of those things are going to be found at this button. Extra credit opportunities. Now, depending on who your instructor is, this may or may not be here, but I'm going to go over the default extra credit for this course for you, just in case that's what your instructor has chosen to use. The help tab right here will take you right to the questions for instructor forum, which is where you will find some frequently asked questions. You'll also find the ability to ask your instructor a question. It's really important that you know where that button is so that you can ask for help at any time. Also, students, if you go and check and you know the answer to a question, that's a great place that you can help other people out in your class. Remember, if there's something about the class, a link doesn't work, or you're not sure on a due date, the best thing to do is to post that question to that discussion board, because chances are other people in the class have the same question. So if everybody, if all 24 people in a class emailed your instructor the same question, you can see that it would be a bit redundant for that instructor to continue answering the question over and over and over and over and over again. However, if you post a question, to the help forum, then your instructor can easily answer it one time. Everyone can get the information and it just makes everything a little bit more streamlined. On the other hand, if you have a question about your particular grade or you have to be absent or you've been sick or something like that, that's where you want to use the little inbox over here and send a private message to your instructor. Okay, down here at the bottom, there's a little bit more information about Quality Matters. And we'll go back up here to the top. So over here on the left, um, you'll see an announcements tab. Recent announcements will show up right here at the top. So you'll get the last two announcements. But if you ever want to go back and see if you missed something, you can click on this announcements tab. The class calendar is very important because you can use this throughout the semester as a reference to make sure you're staying on track. So here in this class calendar, you'll see each week there's a checklist of assignments that are due and how many points each assignment is worth. So you can fill in your grades as you go through the semester and kind of keep track of how you're doing in the class. In fact, after every module, there's a little grade calculator tool. So if you use this, you would put in however many points you earned, divide it by the points possible, and that will give you a percentage, and that will tell you what your grade is in the class to date. So there's never an excuse for not knowing what your grade is, because all you have to do is fill in your grades. You'll also see that there are dates here, so you can print this out and know exactly what to do each week. Class assignments takes you back to um, the main assignment page, and you'll see that there are five modules in this course. Right now, we're in week one, so we're in module one. There's only one week in module one, but in module two, there's four weeks. Module three, there's four weeks. Module four, there's five weeks. And then module five, there's three weeks, including Thanksgiving week. So whatever module you're on, you want to go ahead and click on that week to be able to see what assignments are due that week. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a different view just because um, as you probably have found out, if you don't complete certain steps, you don't have access to the rest of the course. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on module two so you can see what each week looks like. So each week there's a little intro that gives a recap of the assignments that you'll need to do and how much those assignments are worth. It also gives you the reading assignments, and you'll notice here that some of these 
So read chapter five in Connect. Some of the reading assignments are in your textbook in Connect. Some of them are links either to a page here in Canvas or to an outside source. And sometimes you'll have a video. All of these things are very important. If you don't read all of these or watch all the videos, you won't understand fully how to do the rest of your assignments, okay? Every, almost every week there's a discussion. If you scroll to the bottom, you have a link to the actual discussion. Every week there's a writing assignment. So you can see here, everything in blue is a link or um, a submission, okay? So here is where you would submit your assignment, but please notice that there are samples provided. Um, you can use the samples as a template for the outline, so make sure you look out for those things. That way you'll know exactly what you need to do. Almost every week there's a little grammar unit, so you'll need to read a chapter in Connect and then take a quiz. And some weeks you will have a website assignment, so you'll be building a website throughout this course to showcase your work um, and create sort of a portfolio. And you will submit the complete website at the end of the semester. So this is really a project you'll work on all semester. It will be submitted in week 15. But we'll go through it step by step throughout the semester and add a little bit at a time. So watch out for that. So that's what each week's assignments look like. I wanna go ahead and go home again and show you because I can click on this orientation module from here. And you'll know, so you are here on this video tour. And you'll just continue through. There's some pages. You need to make sure that you actually click on the page. And then you'll have the little button at the top. So just like you had on um, watching this video, you can click to mark it as done. That is something that you need to make sure you do. So these will have the same kind of a thing. Everyone you click on, you'll want to go to the top and mark it as done, okay? So let's go ahead and click to continue. Then you have a little quiz. You want to take that quiz. And that's all that you have to do. So once you get through all of the orientation, then you will be able to go to your week one assignments. We're gonna go ahead and click here. You can go to week one and you'll be able to go through the orientation you already completed. You'll have your textbook set up, the reading for the week, which is only a video, um, a discussion for this week, and then a short writing assignment for this week. Now, please note that you have to finish every assignment for week one. So just like you can't access the week one assignments until you complete everything in the orientation, you won't be able to access week two unless you complete everything in week one. And it is for that reason that if you don't complete the week one assignments, you will be dropped from this course on Friday of week one. So make sure that you complete all the assignments if you want to continue in the class. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll go back to our student view and go back to the home page. And just very quickly, I want to highlight the extra credit. So in this class, we the standard extra credit is um, a little challenge here. So these are all challenges that you can do. Some of them are very simple like a learning styles quiz online. Others you earn throughout the semester. So if you are in an online class and you get a B or better on every single discussion throughout the semester, you will earn 200 points at the end of the semester. Um, there are different events you can attend on campus that will give you a badge. So it just depends. And so each of these activities are worth points or scholar dollars. And then you can exchange those scholar dollars for these different prizes. So once you've earned several badges, you can go ahead and contact your instructor and tell them you want to use certain points for any of these rewards. And that will help you to uh, do better in the class. There's extra credit options and different things that are designed to help you succeed in this class and in the future. Okay, so I hope that 
you understand how the class works. One last note, please be careful not to simply click on these links over here and think that that's going to help you succeed in this class. If you do that, you will miss many assignments and you will not have the instructions that you need in order to be successful in this class. So you need to go to the assignments page and click through all of the tabs each week so that you get the full information for each assignment. Okay, well, if you have any questions, just click the inbox or go to the help tab and get help from your instructor. I hope you have all have a wonderful semester.